Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be like a self-care night. I personally could use one of these right now and I've never really done one of these videos on my channel before. So that is what I'm gonna do. Before I get started with today's video, I wanna thank today's video sponsor, which is Uni. This is actually my first video sponsor ever on my channel. So that's super exciting, but you guys will hear more about them later in the video. But it is currently 4.20 p.m. and it's Friday, April 16th. I did have in-person school today, so that kind of explains why I'm feeling a little bit more tired, but I'm gonna start off this self-care night now because I actually did kind of make a list on things that I wanna do. It's not like a to-do list or anything. It's just some like ideas that I had for this self-care night for me to really just take it easy and I don't know, just for a really chill night. And one thing I wanted to do for this self-care night was to redo my nails. So this is how they're looking right now. They're very grown out and some of them chipped, but they are different colors. I don't know if you guys can tell but there's a white kind of like a mauve color a lavender purple and then a light pink so I don't know exactly what I want to do for this next round of nails but I know for sure I'm gonna take off this polish and then repaint them so I'm gonna go grab all of my nail polish and then I'll decide what I want to do okay so we have my nail polish remover and then these like cotton pads to remove my nail polish these are the colors that I have so we have light pink white this like mauve color but really light or I guess you could call it nude but not really we have this like teal turquoisey color and then this light purple and then I have two types of top coats So we have this one and then this one But I was thinking I could paint my nails all white and then on the ring fingers do a little heart with this color I feel like that'd be cute and I never really done it before So I also have this like broken bobby pin and so I'll just use like this little tip to make the heart So I'm gonna do those and then get back to you guys to show you guys the result Hi guys, so it is almost an hour later and I finally finished. I'm not like a nail tech, so they're pretty messy. I kind of need to clean up the edges, but that's how they look. It's kind of hard for you guys to see, but on this finger, I did a little heart with the teal color. They look better in person, but before I do anything that could ruin them, I'm gonna let these fully dry. I'm honestly kind of hungry and it's only 5.11, which I feel like is a bit early for dinner, but at the same time, this is like a self-care video and part of self-care is, you know, taking taking care of your body and eating and hydrating. So I think I might go downstairs and have like an early dinner. Okay, so in my fridge, we have some leftover Alfredo sauce and butter noodles. So I think that's what I'm gonna have. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is like 7.20 right now and I'm going to take a bath. I have not taken a bath in forever and I have like a bath bomb, a sugar scrub, and a face mask that I want to do. So I figured I could just do like a nice chill bath and it'll be super relaxing. I'm going to be doing it in my bathtub in my bathroom, which if you guys haven't seen it before, this is what it looks like. It looks depressing in the dark, but if I turn on the light, this is what it looks like. It has like the shower connected, if you know what I mean. So yeah. That's where I'm gonna be doing it. So I'm just gonna get all the things that I need for it and then we will hop right in. So the products that I'm using for this bath is this face mask. It's a pore minimizing T-zone or full facial mud mask. I'll be using this sugar scrub that I got for Christmas. It's the tropical mango scent, I guess you could say. And then I'm using this bath bomb that my sister got me for Christmas that I haven't used yet, but it just looks like a candy cane and I thought it was cute. <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously with this on. <laughs>
big thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Uni. So Uni is a tech accessories company and they sell a bunch of different accessories for your technology, mainly for your laptop, but the majority of their products are USB-C hubs, adapters, and cables. And they were so kind enough to sponsor today's video and also send me a couple products to show you guys. The link to their website and the accessories that they sent me are in the description down below. And if you guys want 15% off of anything on their website, you can use this code right here, like I said, for 15% off. But I'm just gonna show you guys the products that they sent me. So the first thing that they sent me is this USB-C six in one hub. So this hub includes six ports, hence the name six in one. So the six ports that are included in this hub are two USB 3.0 ports, which basically means you can plug in anything with a USB little like plug-in thing. Not sure exactly what that's called. There's also a micro SD card reader and a normal SD card reader, which is super helpful for if you do videos like this or you use a camera. There's also a 4K HDMI port. And then there's a USB-C PD port with up to 100 watts of input, which is really, really good for one of these little hubs. So those are the six ports that this includes. And then this also comes with a little cord to obviously attach it to your computer. A couple cool things about this USB-C six in one hub is that there is a removable rubber cover around it. So it offers an extra level of protection when you're using it. There's also a removable connector, which is obviously just the little cord that connects it to your laptop. There are also very well positioned ports on this hub. So it makes it easy to plug in multiple things at once and you don't have to worry about too many of the plugs like running into each other and just getting like too crowded, if you know what I mean. It also has a very nice symmetric design, which makes it super easy to plug into anything. So the second thing that they sent me is this USB-C to USB-C cable with a 4K video output. So this is basically just a longer version of the little cord that comes with the six in one hub. So this cord is one meter long or 3.3 feet, which makes it super helpful for if you need it to stretch out a little bit more space. It also is very helpful for if you have like a laptop stand and if you want the hub to like sit nicely on your desk and not like hang from it. I've been using these products for a couple of days now and I really would suggest you guys go check out their website. Once again, thank you so much to Uni for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the self-care. Okay, so one thing that I want to get done that will make me feel like so much better is to clean up my room. I've been wanting to do this ever since I got back from spring break, but I just never really had the time and felt like it. So basically, I have this stuff to clean up, which is a bunch of just random stuff. And then I also have my desk to clean up and more stuff on the floor here. And tomorrow night, I'm actually having my first sleepover in like forever since this COVID stuff. And it's actually my first sleepover with Iman as well. So we're gonna vlog it and if it turns out good, I will post it for you guys. But anyways, I'm having a sleepover, so that's another reason why I want to clean my room is because obviously I want to have a sort of clean room, I guess, for my friend. Let's get to cleaning. <laughs> Okay, so I cleaned up this wall. The only thing here is my school backpack and my school stuff. And then I did clean up this area. And then I also cleaned up my desk. These are all things that I'll be using. And now what I want to do is work on my bullet journal because I haven't gone to update it in a while. I just turned my lamp on. But yeah, so I'm going to work on my bullet journal. And just to update you guys on my community tab a while ago, I did a little poll asking you guys like how much you enjoyed my bullet journal videos. And from that, I concluded that my bullet journal videos weren't as like popular and they weren't always the funnest to make. Obviously, I love bullet journaling, but it's not really something that I want to like focus YouTube on, if that makes sense. It's more of a personal thing. So I'm not going to be making any more like plan with me's or anything like that as of now. But I will be showing you guys my monthly layouts throughout just random vlogs that I do. So I'll show you guys April's layout in this vlog. But this camera's going to die, so I'm going to switch to my other camera. Okay, hi guys. So I'm going to show you my bullet journal layout for April. Also, please don't mind the lines on the screen they're from my led lights i don't know why that happens but it does but for april i decided to do like purple for the like color but different shades and then for the design element i guess i did an easter egg this is obviously a very lopsided easter egg but i've never done any layout like this and i kind of couldn't find an idea so this is the best i could come up with so there's the little title page that's the calendar and then we have my video planner and then all my weekly spreads so yeah i think I think I do need to update my bullet journal, which means I need to make a new weekly spread for this week and then fill it in for all the things I need to do. I'm so crazy about you. I'm so crazy. 
Okay, so I just finished doing my weekly spread for my bullet journal. I did get a little bit distracted because I'm currently planning some pretty fun stuff for YouTube in the future, but I think the last thing that I want to do today is edit. And you might be thinking, if it's a self-care night, why am I editing? Because usually editing is more like homework, I guess, rather than just taking the time to relax. But I actually really enjoy editing. It's definitely one of my hobbies and I never like dread it. So I'm going to do a little bit of editing and of of course, I will be using my uni 6-in-1 hub to connect my SD card and external hard drive to my MacBook. You guys should definitely go check out their company. I don't think I have that much to film for this video. I'm not going to stay up too late to edit just because it is a self-care night, so I do want to get some good sleep. I think that's all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!